my school this week, it is Kindness Week, and so I wanted to record two different art projects that my students have been working on. And they're both really simple to do and really fun. Um, they keep um, my students and myself thinking about kindness all week long. And so the first one that I want to show you is one that we started on Monday where you can basically take any shape, but we talked about how a heart would be a good shape. And you start off by just drawing that shape on your paper. And then you think about some goals you could set for kindness that week. And you really want to make sure that you think about things that you can actually do, things that don't cost money, things that um, will actually be possible. And so the first step is to go ahead and break up that big shape into different sections. You can make really small sections or really big sections depending on, you know, how much you think you're going to be able to get done. And I like the idea of making kind of fun shapes in there, just kind of weird, like it's, <laughs> like it's got all these different parts. But some students made them look like puzzle pieces. One student did a really neat um, spiral pattern. And the important thing is that you're just giving yourself some places that you could then put in some goals for your kindness week. So I'm going to start with that. And I had my students um, do the outline with a color. I just used a really um, basic pink. But you want to make sure that this next part you either put in pencil or just in black and white because you don't want it to be colored in until you finish or do the act of kindness. And so we did some brainstorming together. Um, maybe I'm going to take out the trash. That's something I can do. And so I would write in each one of these spaces something that I have the power to do to make someone else's life better. And especially when we're in quarantine like this, you know the people around you pretty well. Um, so maybe I'm going to pick up the doggy poo a little bit earlier than I normally would. Maybe I'm going to wash the dishes or put away the clean dishes. Maybe I'm going to compliment someone. You can be as specific as you want if you know that there's someone in your life that could use a little bit of kindness or a sparkle of joy. You could even specifically give them that name. Maybe you're going to call um, your aunt. If you don't live with them, maybe it's grandma, whoever, giving them a call will brighten their day. Um, let's see. Maybe I will Ooh, I know what I can do. I can make Mr. Daily coffee. Maybe I could make dinner one night. I could also give the dog a bath. I could clean the bathroom. Ooh, I'm going to try for one whole day. No complaining. That's going to be hard. Um, and then maybe I'll just put in another compliment or, oh, I know I'm going to put in, say, thank you. Just to make sure I'm reminding myself. And so now that I've got all of my, my things, my goals for kindness, I'm going to carry on throughout my week. And as I complete something, I can either just, you know, color it in a solid color. I could do a little pattern, but, um, it's, it's a very, um, fun way to keep it present in your mind throughout the week so that you have it somewhere you can see it and um, I really want to color it all in. That's something I'm already looking at it and I'm saying, oh, I want to color it in. So that means I'm going to be motivated to do something kind. So that's the first 
kindness goal setting activity that I did with my class. And then the second one we did a little bit later in the week, we were talking about how when somebody does an act of kindness or does something nice for you, it ripples out just like you dropped a stone in the water. It's going to continue to have that effect spread out. And we watched a really neat video that's on YouTube about how one act of kindness can create ripples that you might not even get to see where they end up, but when you put that goodness out there in the world, it does have an impact. And within each of us, we have the power to make somebody's life better. And so I had my students just start by choosing a location on their page and just like I did, trace around and make those ripples in the water. And then to have them think back to moments in their life where somebody did something kind for them. It could be something really small or it could be something really big. And students can choose to use the same color that they're using, that blue, or to use a different color. And I'm gonna stick with that blue. And I'm gonna think back to on my first day of teaching, I tripped um, and my students didn't laugh at me. They helped me stand up. And I really fell down hard. Um, and they could have very easily just kind of stood there and chuckled. Um, I was really nervous, but they helped me stand up. And so for me, that is a really powerful act of kindness in there. Um, also, sometimes when you go to a new place and you're feeling really nervous, like I remember going to a new school and feeling really shy, I didn't know anyone, somebody smiled at me. And that brightened my whole day. I was able to take a breath and remember that there were kind people out there. And so you would just continue to just fill in kind things that people have done for you in all of these ripples. And at the end of it, you're gonna have this beautiful picture with just acts of kindness just filled in there. And um, I won't fill out the whole thing with you, but I think you have a, a pretty good idea of two types of art that you could do to celebrate Kindness Week. And you could even turn it into Kindness Month. You might even, if you're like me and you keep a little journal, maybe you set some goals each week to notice some things you could do to make other people's lives better and then also to recognize all the goodness that other people bring to your life. So I hope these were helpful and I'll see you later. Bye.